Greetings, Benjamin J from Ben's Trains with another in the series. Well, a follow-up on that yellow caboose that arrived. This was its original plastic chassis. As you see, I have scavenged the uh, trucks off of it. Plastic trucks, of course, with plastic couplers. Steel wheels. Anyway, I scavenged the uh, trucks off of this uh, plastic chassis and transferred them to this Lionel uh, gondola that has been in the junk box for the last, I don't know, probably six months, something like that. It was missing the uh, trucks. Actually, it had trucks on it that were broken, both of them. Anyway, so I drilled the rivets out and uh, just attached the uh, new trucks with paper joiners for now. Tomorrow, I'll go down to Ace and get some uh, probably 832, 1032 uh, screws and nylock nuts and uh, permanently mount these. But it came in really handy because I could uh, transfer the uh, trucks directly off this plastic chassis to this Lionel gondola. As you see, it's up and running perfectly. So basically I got two new pieces of rolling stock. I got the uh, yellow caboose itself and then used its chassis to repair this gondola. As you see, it's working perfectly. But that's why I always stress, don't overlook the junk. I just needed the shell off that uh, caboose, so I transferred it to a new uh, steel chassis, I should say an old steel chassis, and then uh, snagged the trucks and transferred them to this uh, gondola that's been in the junk box for months. Anyway, so I've got the new caboose and a new gondola. Total cost five bucks for both of them. Anyway, it just reinforces everything I say. Don't overlook the junk. So I got a new caboose and a new gondola. Five bucks. Really difficult to beat that. Anyway, I just wanted to do a quick follow-up video. As always, if you have any questions, feel free to drop me an email. Ben's trains at gmail.com and as always thank you for watching